who actually represents the opposition at the Colombo Municipal Council. A tense situation arose when this issue was addressed. Sri Lanka Podujana Pirumuno obtained 23 seats, the second highest number of seats obtained by a party of the United National Party. Alliance Councillor MFMH Manzil submitted a document with signatures of 28 councillors claiming he is suitable for the post of opposition leader. A tense situation arose when the representatives of the Sri Lanka Podujana Pirumuno opposed this move. <laughs> United People's Freedom Alliance obtained 12 seats, while United Progressive Alliance obtained 10 seats. The Janata Vimukti Perumuna obtained 6 seats, and the other political and independent parties won 8 seats. All councillors except councillors representing the JVP and two other councillors supported Alliance Councillor MFMH Manzil. There is no issue because I have the majority. Even the mayor agrees with me. The Flowerbud Party told me to give them two days of time and that they will get the document signed by 29 of them. So far, they have only 23 signatures placed on the document. So the mayor allowed them to obtain two days of time. So for now, I am the leader of the opposition. How does Mano Ganeshan's team say that these 10 MPs support Councillor Manzil? Because councillors representing Mano Ganeshan's party are from the government. They even attend meetings and events of the mayor. So how do they say that they represent the opposition? The Colombo Municipal Council Ordinance does not mention anything about an opposition leader post. It is only a position that's held by tradition. 23 representing the Flowerbud Party were elected, but they couldn't appoint a leader within six months. If they can prove the number of seats they have obtained, one of them can hold the opposition leader post. Most of the councillors said a proper decision was not reached about the opposition leader post. We hope the mayor will reach a decision in this regard immediately. Colombo Mayor Rosie Senanayaka said a decision will be reached on Tuesday.